Hi there, I'm Thomas from Real Guitar School. Guitar learning secret number two, slow deep learning is best. Slow deep learning is not a new concept and it's tossed around a lot in educational circles. I'll show you in this video how you can use this to help power pack your guitar learning experience. Stay tuned. Hi again. It's fun learning new things, isn't it? It's human nature to kind of get excited about something new and exciting. It feels like you're actually making progress for a while anyway, and then it starts getting a little bit old. In your mind, you start thinking, oh, well, I, I just about got this anyway. You start justifying, well, I'll come back to it later and, and really polish it up. Next thing you know, you're off to something new and exciting. I just described something that used to go on in my head over and over. And at some point, I had to finally acknowledge that I'm not actually going back to stuff. I kept jumping for that next high of something new and exciting. And over time, I also had to admit that it really wasn't working. I couldn't actually play some of the more advanced stuff that I wanted to play that would have been really fun because my basics weren't there. So with the help of some soul searching and some really good teachers, I came to a realization about learning guitar. That realization is you can't play the stuff that's really fun and exciting by taking the short term high of always going to something new and exciting. You need to take time on the basics and get the fundamentals right. Let me say that another way. It might seem boring to go over one thing over and over until you've really gotten the full value out of it. But in the long run, it's worth it to get the enjoyment out of really being able to express yourself on the guitar. So what does that look like in real guitar practice? Well, I use the 80% rule. When you're working on an exercise, stay with it long enough until you feel you've gotten 80% of the value out of it. Doesn't mean you have to get it perfect. Go for 80%. Now, this isn't an exact magic number. It's meant to get you to push beyond where you'd normally kind of get tired of it and move on to the next thing. If you can get 80% out of something, you'll probably over time refine it anyway. If you have an instructor, you can use your instructor to tell you when it's time to move on to the next exercise. However, if you're working on your own or you're working with an online course, it's okay to make that judgment call yourself. You see, what really you're after is finding your own edge. Find your place where you would normally quit and push just beyond that and keep doing that. Little by little, you'll actually expand how far you can stay with one thing. And you'll also develop a longer attention span and better judgment about when it's time to move on to the next exercise. Does that mean it's not okay to try something that's beyond your current level or experiment with something just for fun? Of course not. The point is not to pretend that that kind of thing is the main course. So if you're eating dinner, right, you're not going to eat dessert every night and skip the main course. Certainly it's going to be disaster. Well, the same thing with guitar. You need a core program of progressive step-by-step -step material to help you get better. And then everything else is not only fun, but actually can be quite useful. So that's it for this video. What I've done is talk about what I consider the the most important aspect of slow, deep learning. Of course, there's a lot more to it. And I did go ahead and create a much more elaborate lesson with more explanation and more tips. You can find out more about that below this video. Thanks for sharing this time with me. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. If you like it, please share this video with your friends. And of course, like this video on YouTube or on Facebook. Until next time, have fun playing beautiful music on your guitar.